Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. I hope you're all doing super well. I am coming at you live from my office. Man, I had a rest day today, and normally I get up at 4 a.m., and I got up at 5.45, and I feel all out of whack. I'm like, man, I think I just need to stay consistent with getting up at 4 because it was it was harder to get up at 5.45, actually, um, which is interesting, and I went to bed at like 8 p.m. Um, so I want to come at you because I've had some really amazing conversations, conversations that are real and raw and beautiful. And, um, I, Kim, I'm about to, in five minutes, chat with you and I'm so excited. Um, you irritate me is something someone got. Um, that's what someone said to one of my friends. You irritate me because my friend said this, you know, I'm really working on my health and happiness. And this person's good friend said, you irritate me. And I, I, I talked to my friend about it and I said, I want you to like logically think about this, like think about it because you want to be happier and healthier that irritates someone because you want to better yourself. Your good friend is irritated by that has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. So my friends, if you have negativity in your life and people who are holding you back because you want to have your best life. That makes zero sense. It's zero sense. If someone around you is, is saying these things, it doesn't make sense. If you want to be a better person and someone isn't down with that, you have to really step back and say, is this person going to influence me for the better or for the worst. When I first became a coach, there's one person in particular who would make fun of me all the time. But I knew deep down that this was like making me feel better. And then the more that I grew my mind and the more that I practiced being healthy and happier, I realized that it had nothing to do with me and everything to do with that person when they were negative. It was their own insecurity that would project on me being better to be better and I see this too like um with women that I'm helping that it's it's there are people that hold them back and it might be a spouse it might be someone but like that they are so quick to stop this person from propelling forward to be healthier and happier because of an own insecurity or an own struggle that they wouldn't even want to see the person or the people around them become better because I think it's a reflection of themselves of shoot like I'm not better like I'm not okay and I don't want everyone else to start getting better so you have to really evaluate the people in your life and are they because I don't I'm, I don't tolerate disrespect I don't tolerate negativity I don't tolerate people who are going to try to bring me down I demand respect. I give respect. I love and I live and I live on purpose. And I surround my people with, around dreamers, goal crushers. If people are being negative in my life, as a friend, I'm saying you got to work on your mindset. Like you are self-sabotaging yourself right now. I believe that you can be better than this. And that's just tr me making sure I'm working on my own mindset daily. But I, if you are around that, it takes a toll on you. And one reason, one reason I left teaching was that's what was happening is I was feeling so negative and I'm like, I'm not a negative person, but why am I feeling so toxic right now? And it was because I was around a lot of complaining and I started to complain a lot. So Beachbody has given me this positive community, but typically when you surround yourself with a lot of positivity, you just like get all of these happy emotions and all of this, this adrenaline to crush goals and not everyone's going to like it. And it has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. But just take a second. You irritate me. Someone said that. Because I want to be healthy and happy. That makes zero sense. Why would you stop? And I'm not my friend actually was like, you're right. But what if you, but I've seen people stop. Because they are so, like, they are worried about what that person thinks of them. 
Stop caring what people think of you and start caring what they think of themselves. If they think negatively, I'm like, man, your heart, your mind, you're stuck. You're complacent. You are on cruise control. You don't know how to live life to its fullest. And I am either going to help you or I'm going to keep going. But you're not going to drag me down. I don't have time for that. Time is our most precious resource. Our most precious precious resource. Do not let someone else get in the way of your own health and happiness. It has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. Do not let another person hold you back. If that is what is happening, you need to sit back and say, they're not, they don't have my back. They're not looking for my best interests. They just are super insecure with themselves and unhappy with themselves that they don't want me to be better is what that is. It has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. So if someone is irritated because you want to live a healthy and happy life, that makes me laugh. Think about that. That is good. You want it to be better. That is a very good thing. Because when you become better, guess what? You project, project good. You project healthy. You help other people become better, right? Like it's not just about you, but like when you take care of yourself and, and, and you get yourself right, you get everything else just becomes better. So do not let anyone rob you from that. And the only person that can allow that is you. Do not let anyone else get in your head. I believe me, people have tried and it makes me laugh because I'm like, you just are so negative. Like you just are living in this pity party. You are living in the self-sabotage world that I'm not down with. I'm not down with it. I don't dig it. I'm not about it. I'm going, I am getting to my goals and no one's going to stop me. There's a ton of room at the bottom, a lot of wiggle room at the top. Why don't we all go to the top to whatever our goal is and freaking fight for it? It's not going to be easy. You're going to stumble over a lot of rocks to get there, but you are going to become a stronger, better person when you can just figure out that you deserve health and happiness and that it is scary because you might not hit your goal right away, but that's okay. But if you are living with intention, living on purpose, living your passion, living your purpose, oh man, life just becomes so real. Real quick, I have a meeting right now. Sorry, Kim. Um, I was on the top of the world yesterday. I'm not kidding. I climbed a mountain with my friend Nadia. She's freaking sick, dude. She's like writing a book and like writing a book um, with nutrition and um, all this really cool stuff. It's just like we had a real conversation and she works from home too. And we we're just on top of the mountain and we're like, it's in the middle of the day on a Wednesday. We're on top of the world right now. Is this real life? Like this is living life. And I'm just telling you, you deserve to live it, whatever that looks like for you. For me, it was on being on top of a mountain in the middle of the day. But like, do not let the people around you self or sabotage that for you. If you noticing that they're holding you back, typically the people that are closest in our lives um, might be the ones out of fear to hold you back. But think about what you want in life. If you want to be healthier and happier and someone's saying that's stupid, that's dumb, it's annoying, it's irritating... Um, I don't think you should do it. Really? You're right? That's what you're going to say to them? You're absolutely right. I shouldn't do this. Health and happiness and they're irritated by that? That doesn't make any sense. It's comical. Makes zero sense. Nothing to do with you. Everything to do with them. It's their insecurities. Thanks for all your comments. I'm late to a meeting and and Kim, um, I'm going to do that. But I appreciate you guys all commenting. I just feel fear, I just feel very fired up to inspire you and show you that you do deserve to take care of yourself. Yes, you can afford it. Yes, you have the time. And yes, you deserve to feel your absolute best. Don't let anyone ever rob you of that. Your time is your most precious precious resource you don't have time to not become better you don't have time to just be average average is boring 
No one wants to be average. It's boring when you're so predictable and you're stressed out and you live a life of overwhelm. No one wants that. Stop convincing yourself that it's okay that you're 30 pounds overweight, feeling miserable and crying in the dressing room. Stop it. (laughs) Just start going baby steps all the way and you can do it. I'm your number one fan. I swear to you, you can crush any goal if you just decide to start moving towards it and that you may not know what that looks like, but if you just continue to sit there and self-sabotage yourself and let other people bring you down, you're going to get farther and farther and farther away from it. Yes, you have the time. Yes, you can afford it. Yes, you deserve to take care of yourself. When you take care of yourself and become healthier and happier, it allows you to help other people become healthier and happier. And then all of a sudden your world is just awesome. Your world is better. Your thinking is better. Your body is better. The way you live your life is just better. I don't know about you. I want that. I know when I live a better life, other people become better. And when they live better lives, the people in their lives become better. And it's just this effect that can change the world. And I'm so convinced of that. You deserve to be healthy and happy. Freaking fight for it. Do not let anyone stop you from wanting to be better, from wanting to be confident. Okay? It is so important to really sit back Listen to what the influences you have in your life. I get all the time, Julian, you're so positive. You're so, I didn't just get this way. I worked on it. I didn't just lose 30 pounds. I showed up every day. I didn't, like, when I see negativity, I can immediately be like, that's not about me. That's about them. When they're saying that, they're just self-sabotaging themselves. I can see that now because I've worked on myself. I used to let other people affect how I would feel. It's a choice. Don't let anyone else rob you. Um, Fight for it. Health and happiness is yours if you want it. Don't let anyone else determine whether you should be healthy or happy or not, which is hilarious. Like, what? You irritate me because you want to be better? That's not a true friend, guys. That's not someone who really believes in you. Don't let them be their influence whether you get healthy or happy or not. I have to go. Anyway, I love you all. Happy, happy Thursday. And God loves you. I love you. Thank you for your support and just your feedback and um, your, yeah, your love. And I just, I think we need to band together and support each other, lift each other up, believe in each other when maybe we don't believe in ourselves. And I want to be that for you. I want to show you that whatever you want in life, you can have it. And not everyone knows how to think like that. And everyone is average at first until you decide to be awesome and when you live an awesome life and I'm not saying like baller lifestyle where you have like all fancy cars that's not what I'm talking about with awesome I mean like where you wake up today and you're like who can I inspire who can I help how can I live with intention how can I have a quality relationship that's living an awesome life not everyone's willing to do that I think you should live a healthy happy life choose to be healthier and happier message me I want to help you whether that's joining team happy and fit which will change your life You can afford it, you have the time for it, and you deserve to take care of yourself. Or if you just want to become my challenger and I can be your coach. Either way, I'm your coach if you join Team Happy and Fit or um, join one of my accountability groups. I love you. Have an amazing, amazing day. Um, Good morning, good morning, good morning. And yeah, rock it out. Don't let anyone influence you. Okay, goodbye.